and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is esther and today i'll be taking you through a day in the life as a final year law and criminology student at cardiff university and yes we made it so without further ado let's get straight into it here i am on my way to campus and i was walking so fast because i thought my class started at 11 but it actually starts at 11.10 which I soon realised and was able to gather my breath before the seminar started which was amazing. I've just finished one seminar, I have another lecture in an hour so I'm gonna go get some lunch first and then um, head to my lecture. So this is the Cardiff City Centre, I'm going to head into the Cornhash Bakery uh, or the Steakhouse um, like down there because it's usually better than Greg's even though it might be a bit more pricier but it's better. Large steak and ale pastry, please. No, thank you. Now, this is a disclaimer. I don't usually go out for lunch, but I did not have time in the morning to pack one today. So, after eating, I headed to my next lecture building, which you will see right now. And I'm just walking. Please do not use. Oh my gosh. Okay. Go upstairs, I guess. Finally found one. Oh my god. It's actually so warm today. So I have a lecture. And yes, I did get lost on my way because I've never been in this building before. And my lecture is going to be on financial crime. I need to see what sort of topic it's going to be on. But I am going to tie my hair up because it's absolutely boiling right now. It's literally like 20 something degrees in October. And this should be when it's autumn. So I just need to cool down, take this jacket off and be cool. It's the audit. <laughs> so today's lecture was on money laundering and what that looks like, who does it, and how criminals wash their money. And the lecture was very interesting. I had to leave my lecture early because I have another lecture to get to. And usually it might take me 10 minutes, but I literally left five minutes earlier to get to the other building across campus. This lecture was on the function of prisons and whether Durkheim believed it was an effective punishment. Just finished our lecture, look at the glass marks. I've got a seminar to prep for for tomorrow, so I need to do that. But also there's a meet and greet at 6pm. Hey guys, meet and greet. <laughs> meet and greet at 6pm. So I need to go to that but right now. We're heading that way. We are so aesthetic. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dun, dun. Golden hour. It. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> this is the city hall where people, where people, um, write on the marriage certificate. <laughs> they finalize their marriage here. For dinner, I headed to Burger King to grab. 20 chicken nuggets for 4.29 because I had the app 
and then I went to Tesco to grab a meal deal mainly for the smoothie but also to have the sandwiches for breakfast and a late night snack later on. Thanks. So rather than getting a smoothie for almost five pounds from Heavenly Desserts, you get a meal deal deal for three pound <laughs> forty. Girl math right there. After getting my meal deal, we both headed to the SU where the event for the meet and greet was going to happen. Here we are to the TAF and the SU. <laughs> Guys, we got bingo. What do you have to say? Our prizes are orange! <laughs> so we just left the event because I have so much to do this evening. Um, we are heading back home. I'm heading back home. Um, I need to do my laundry and then my seminar work at the same time. So we're going to see how that goes. So guys, it's so dark outside. This is me on my way back home and taking my shoes off before I walk around so after i settled down i put my laundry in the washing machine and got started on my seminar work due in for tomorrow so based off this seminar worksheet i have four main readings to complete the first reading is about 20 pages and the second one is a whole chapter the third one is about 20 or 17 pages and the next one is about 40 pages now this is a lot of reading for tomorrow a lot of the students have problems with their timetables so i'm going to try and complete like one from each section instead so that i have a general gist of what's going on instead of trying to complete all of it and i might try to get like summarizing websites to tell me what's going on with the reading so i can get a full picture of it and then try and complete the reading when i actually have time this is one thing you'll definitely learn if you are ever studying law and criminology or either or at university is that there is a lot of reading to complete so don't take it lightly just because your timetable may be less full than your peers such as your medics or whatever because it's a lot of self independent study this is my desk setup and as you will see i got started on my reading as it was a lot i actually didn't end up finishing all four chapters i only completed one chapter and have a very long to-do list this week to complete the readings and tasks that i was not able to manage last week after i completed that one chapter of reading i winded down and slept because i had a very early start the next day and needed to get some rest so that is the end of this vlog i hope you have enjoyed it please do leave a like comment and subscribe if you did and if not that's okay but if you do i will see you guys in the next vlog but until then stay safe and stay blessed